Hey everybody, it's Graham Burton here with Premier Equipment and today I'm going to talk to you about the mandatory 20-2 software update. This update is mandatory for the Starfire 6000 and 3000 receivers. Unfortunately, the Starfire ITC will no longer be able to talk to these satellites, meaning that come February 1st, 2021, it will no longer work for auto track usage. There's two ways to update these Starfire receivers. The first and simplest way is using JD Link. Using JD Link pulls the software update over the air using internet connection into these receivers. The second way would be downloading the software update from StellarSupport.com, putting it on a USB stick, and then plugging it into the cab or the display. Now let's jump up in the cab and I'll show you both ways to do this software update. Now that we're in the cab, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this software update, and that's using JD Link over the air updates. This process is the same for the 3000 and 6000 receivers. To do the software update over the air using JD Link, first you will click Menu, System, Software Manager, Check for Updates Online, View Updates for Other Devices, and Next. If you pull your tractor outside of the shed, you will have better success at pulling this update quicker. The next way to do the software update is using USB. First, you must go to StellarSupport.com, which we will link in the bottom of this video, and download the correct software update for the correct display and receiver that you're going to use. Here we have two Gen 4s, the 4640 Universal Display, which you will plug the USB into the side of the display, and then here we have the 4600 Integrated Display. For those, you will plug the USB into the side of the cab here, and show you pick the proper data port, not the media port. Once the USB window pops up, you will click install software, install from USB drive, check updates for other devices, next. Once you have found that software update, you will click install. This process is the same for a Starfire 3000 and 6000 receiver. On the 6000 receiver, you have a second option of plugging the USB directly into the bottom of the Starfire 6000 receiver. This way can be a lot quicker than plugging it into the display. Once a USB is plugged into the bottom of that Starfire 6000 receiver, you'll come in here to the display, you'll click up here on the clock, you'll click Starfire 6000, this little folder with the green on there, update receiver, SF6000 PRC, and update. If you're doing the software update using a GS3 display such as this 2630, you'll plug the USB into the side of the display here. After a few seconds, the update window will open up and you will click accept. Hopefully this video has helped you get through the mandatory 20-2 software update. Don't forget that there's detailed instructions on StellarSupport.com. And if you have any troubles, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Premier Equipment location.